Hey, what's up guys? What a difference a day can make, huh? Yesterday, obviously a huge rally, and today we had some legit news of why semiconductor stocks fell. We had the Biden announcement that they could cap sales of US companies, right, of AI chips to other countries. And then also ASML got leaked, their earnings somehow was re was uh, reported early and they missed badly on their quarter three bookings. Their net profit or their profit margins were down and they also cut their full year 2025 forecast. So that's not good. But if you look under the hood guys, their AI part of their business is still doing well, okay? So that is gonna be good for NVIDIA and these other companies, even though they're taking a breather right now and it may last because of the you know potential cap on sales to other countries of AI chips. I think we'll eventually get over that hurdle, okay? But ASML is the other part of their businesses that were weaker, that are still not recovering, okay? So just know that more of like their internet of things and again, other semiconductors, not AI related, okay? So just know that number one, but like I said, it is a concern anytime the government talks about, right, capping sales to other countries, that's going to affect obviously revenue, right, of NVIDIA if they can only sell a certain amount in other companies as well. So it's something to monitor because they just said could, right? They're thinking about it, right, weighing on it. They're not, they haven't done anything yet. Kind of like with the Middle East guys, remember when they said this, I put this out, you know, months back when they were thinking about capping, right, or, or banning, sales to the middle east and what did they do they ended up nvidia is, is working with the middle east now so i think it's a way maybe to bring stocks down they want to control the stock price i don't know if there's manipulation whatever it is but either way it's going to put a lid most likely on semiconductors until asml says something about the report they need to come out and explain why their bookings for quarter three were so bad and why they're you know cutting guidance if they do that that could give some short-term reprieve to the market. If they don't, you can expect more selling tomorrow. But here's what could be the savior. Taiwan Semiconductor has earnings after market close tomorrow, guys. I have a feeling their numbers are gonna be much better than ASML. Okay, if they do beat and raise, then that can help these semiconductor stocks get back on track. But if you look at the chart today, it was a nasty red selling volume bar today. And usually after that, you see a couple more days of selling, okay? But like I said, Taiwan Semiconductor really needs to come through if we wanna get this rally back on track, okay? Because it was, uh, if you look at the SOX, for example, the SOXX, which tracks the semiconductor industry, it had a three times where it bonked off resistance and came back, and this one, it did it again, like I said, with a lot of selling. So we need to see a better report from Taiwan Semiconductor, so I wouldn't rush into doing anything. I'd let the dust settle. Let's see if ASML comes out and talks about their earnings report of why it was so bad. And then if Taiwan Semiconductor beats and raises, then I think we can get this rally back on track.